first, though, swapping the Australian sun to uh, get into the festive spirit in London. Kylie Minogue was spotted uh, in a shop window. Imagine this week. walking past again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this weekend, we popped along to see what she was getting up to. She's a singer, songwriter, actress, and now the Australian superstar is adding another talent to her string of success Christmas tree decorating. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire. The beauty of this project is that you could choose whatever you wanted, which I had to narrow it down. So I thought red for Christmas, pink for me, and sparkle for everyone. And it's all in a good cause for the ITV Tech Santa appeal. So I'm really happy to be here today uh, supporting ITV Tech Santa, and their three charities this year are Macmillan Cancer Support, Save the Children, and Make a Wish. Alongside Kylie, Eva Longoria, Mel B, Mary Portis and Catherine Jenkins are also designing their own celebratory. And they'll auction off all the decorations for Tech Santa. I haven't seen any of the others. I haven't, but, but I'm, I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to stand firm with my, my pink and red and sparkly British-based tree. It's the most wonderful time. Kylie's own Christmas plans began in the summer when she started recording her new Christmas album. I've been working on this album since June, um, more heavily July, August with the recording and everywhere we've worked we've fully decorated the studio, where every studio we've been in and the decorations kind of got more and more and more and more. I actually nearly burnt the studio down. Slight exaggeration but I was getting carried away with lots of tinsel and decided to put it over every light. Every English person who was working on it was like, this is so, I've got to say, this is really weird. How do you, how are you getting in the Christmas spirit? And I'd have to say, you're forgetting I'm Australian and it's, it might be 35 degrees outside, perfect for me. Um, so I guess, in effect, I had the best of both worlds because it was like an Australian Christmas outside and then inside we made it like a European wintry Christmas. We ended up with a great collaborations. First and foremost, my sister, Danny, James Corden, who is surprising everyone with this duet because he just sounds so um, tender and sweet and and um, I think people were expecting funny guy and, and it's not, it's really emotional. <laughs> Last but definitely not least is with Frank Sinatra. Um, we were able to use vocals that he recorded from a 1959 TV special and it was an absolute thrill. I was on tenterhooks waiting to see if his estate would, would um, agree to give us the rights, which they did. Kylie made a special appearance at Liberty's to launch the Tech Santa Celebratory. Welcome, Miss Kylie Minogue. Oh my goodness! I'm so glad to be here to support ITV Tech Santa. I've got the badge and to see all of you. But how does the Aussie pop queen celebrate her Christmas? If, as and when I'm in Australia, it's very much uh, as many family who are around, of course. Can't lie, I'm not the go-to cook. I'm a great assistant. Of course we have a barbecue. People are in their bathers, you know, board shorts and bikinis, barbecue, beer, pool. Back indoors to maybe have a nod to, to heritage and have a roast as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's beautiful, long, sunny days and we do the same as most people. You have the last minute panic before Christmas. You don't have this and you don't have that. So everyone's scrambling down to the shops at the last minute. Um, lunch, presents, scrabble, and then do it all again. 